Hello, good evening and welcome to the 7 o'clock news live from Bahrain International with me, Danielle Deporto. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, received a telephone call from the Governor of the Saudi Eastern Region, His Royal Highness Prince Saud bin Nayef bin Abdulaziz al Saud, congratulating him on the successful medical checkups he underwent recently, wishing him abundant health. The Governor praised the contributions of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister in supporting and enhancing bilateral relations. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness Prince Saud bin Naif and said that this call reflects the deep-rooted ties between the two countries. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gudebia Palace. The cabinet praised the royal speech of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day which outlined his vision and included content on local, regional and international affairs. They affirmed that the government is exerting huge efforts to achieve the aspirations of His Majesty the King through continuing the development process, maintaining stability, implementing national development programs in all fields and enhancing the Kingdom's strategic relationships and economic exchanges with other brotherly and friendly countries in order to achieve more gains under the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. The meeting hailed the loyalty and sincere feelings presented by the people of Bahrain during National Day, marking the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed al Fattah, the 45th anniversary of his accession to the UN as a full member, the 17th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and Commemoration Day. The cabinet also expressed good wishes to His Majesty the King on the occasion of the New Year 2017, wishing the world peace and security on this blessed occasion. The meeting then congratulated His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa, on the successful medical checkups he underwent recently, wishing him abundant health and praising his leading role in supporting the march of progress in the kingdom, which has been further demonstrated by the Bahraini people's concerns for his well being. The Cabinet then discussed a decree regarding state-owned land investment regulations and also approved registering state-owned ships regulations and then discussed the annual report of the National Quality Assurance Authority for Education and Training. The Cabinet condemned the recent terrorist attack in Jordan, affirming Bahrain's firm support of Jordan. They also condemned the assassination of the Russian ambassador to Turkey, which contradicted all humanitarian and moral values. They furthermore expressed condolences to the Russian government and people for the victims of the more recent plane crash. The cabinet then condemned all terrorist attacks, affirming that these attacks contradict the teachings of Islam and all religions, condemning the recent terrorist acts that happened in Yemen and Germany. The cabinet approved the project decree submitted by the coordinating committee, which is headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The project decree is concerned with state-owned land investment regulations. The cabinet also designated the Ministerial Committee for Financial Affairs and Spending Restraint as the concerned organizing body. The Cabinet approved the annual report of the National Quality Assurance Authority for Education and Training that includes batches 24 and 25 of the report. The results of the report were presented by the Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Development of Education and Training, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa. The Cabinet approved a memorandum on the registration of state-owned vessels in order to enhance the role of the Kingdom as a hub for the shipping and logistics sector. The Cabinet also issued the conditions and regulations to be adhered to in granting licenses to foreign vessels, assigning the Minister of Transportation and Telecommunications to the implementation and follow-up of the decision. The Cabinet has referred to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs a memorandum submitted by the Ministry of Youth, and Youth Affairs and Sports concerning the determination of age groups of youths in the Kingdom of Bahrain in accordance with national and international legislation. This step should contribute to ministry plans to organise these categories more effectively. The Cabinet reviewed a number of proposals and made appropriate decisions in light of the recommendations of the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Committee for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received Al Bayan school student Rashid Al Hajiri for his participation in the Nancy Open 2016 Rubik's Cube Championships, attended by the General Secretary of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Abdurrahman Salih Gaskar, and the student's father. 
On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that with the directive of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, the kingdom always seeks to provide care for emerging talents and create ideal conditions for them to develop their ideas and encourage their creative abilities for their contributions to building a modern Bahrain in the future. His Highness directed for Al Hajiri to participate in the World Championship that will be held in the UAE and facilitate conditions that would create a positive result for the Kingdom of Bahrain. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and Honorary President of the Bahrain Paralympics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, expressed his delight on the occasion of Bahrain's wheelchair basketball team winning third place in the Gulf Cooperation Council's 8th edition tournament. Held under the patronage of the Chairman of Abu Dhabi Sports Council, His Highness Sheikh Nahyan bin Zayed Al Nahyan, on December 19th to 26th in the UAE's capital, Abu Dhabi. His Highness Sheikh Khaled congratulated the Chairman of Bahrain's Paralympics Association, Sheikh Mohammed bin Beja Al Khalifa, and the association's board members on such an accomplishment as a result of the leadership's unlimited support to the youth and sports sector, especially the handicapped sports category, reflecting the constant keenness for this inclusion in all state sectors. He lauded the excellent efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in achieving the vision and directives of the wise leadership through the developmental plans laid out by His Highness Sheikh Nasser, which contributed to the development of Bahraini sports and had the greatest role in the achievement of good results by the Bahraini national teams during their participation in various sports arenas. His Highness also praised the high level shown by the Bahraini team during this participation, despite strong competition from contending teams, wishing the Bahraini team more success in its upcoming participations. Minister of Housing Bassem Ben Yaqub Al Ahmar affirmed that the ministry's accomplishments throughout the years motivate to exert greater efforts to achieve the aspirations of the ministry and maintain the level of achievements in the prosperous era of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa. He hailed the efforts of ministry employees that had an impact on the speed of completion of housing projects with the required quality and in accordance with the planned timetable, which contributed to the successful implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince to distribute 6,200 housing units in two phases. The ministry stated that the number of cases exempted from payment due to death reached 117 in the year 2016, with a total value of 2 million dinars. The ministry reviewed the housing projects completed and the ones that are still under implementation in the Kingdom since last year until the present time. The completed projects include 30 projects in various Bahraini governorates and projects under construction totaling 16,000 units. New housing standards allowed wider segments of citizens to benefit from the housing services, which enabled 90% of citizens to benefit from the various options offered. The Bahrain Authority for Tourism and Exhibitions announced its annual shopping festival. The festival aims to improve the cultural shopping experience for local and international tourists. The inauguration took place at Baba Bahrain in the Souk, which is a must-visit attraction for many tourists visiting the kingdom. More in this report with Sarah Bareg. The Shop Bahrain Festival was inaugurated this week by the Chief Executive Officer of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, Sheikh Khaled bin Hamoud Al Khalifa, amidst the rising number of tourists visiting the Kingdom Island of Bahrain. The Bahrain Tourism Exhibition Authority is now uh, cooperating with Tamkin in the organization of the Shopping Festival in Bahrain. We made sure that uh, the festival is in parallel with uh, the regional holidays in Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, and Qatar, and Bahrain. Uh, during the school holidays. So we're mainly focusing on uh, GCC families. We made sure that there are other elements and components within uh, the festival to support it, not just retail discounts, but uh, music, entertainment, family entertainment. Uh, we're also going to have a, a, a festival city which would be um, the first of its kind in Bahrain Bay uh, and many other activities. The structure of the Shop Bahrain Festival this year differs in the sense that previous suggestions were taken into consideration and applied in order to give shoppers and tourists the best cultural experience while staying communicated with their family and loved ones at home.
What we've tried to do is to grow year on year on the years before and I think uh, we've been so far uh, successful growing uh, from the second year from the uh, from the first year and, and that's the goal again this year so to try to grow from, from last year. We have a lot of uh, new things going on this year. We, we brought in 10 five-star hotels uh, this year to, to, to enter and, and, and uh, any expenditure in those hotels as well can count towards your um, point. The telecom industry is an important industry to any other industries around Bahrain and tourism is just one of them. I mean, everyone wants to be connected uh, over data or phone calls to be able to call their families back, uh, probably ask their families in here what they would like to buy. You know, people now use social media to, to send pictures of what they want to buy and uh, is this nice, is this color? Uh, so, I mean, no one can, can work without a, a, a mobile these days. This is Sarah Le Break for Bahrain International. A very good evening, you're watching the Business News on Bahrain International with me, Hiva Abdel Ghafour. Bahrain oil shares index closed today at 1,207.94 points, marking a decrease of 3.13 points below last closing. The fall was in the investment, insurance and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks, representing 81% of the total value of traded shares. 130 equity transactions took place, with a volume of 6,350,183 shares, worth 744,962 Bahraini dinars.